Hello everybody, so in last video we started the upgradation of Iron 3 to make it meet the standard of 2023. Given that in 2023 all the 3D printer are coming up with the flipper firmware, fast printing, BL touch, belt tensioner and a lot of other features like a uh, like, lot of features. So I want my Ender 3 to be to meet the standard of 2023. So we started the upgradation. So in the last video, we changed the stock realities board with the SK, uh, SK Wonder for turbo board and with TMC 2209 stepper motor drive, which are super precise and also really silent. So that's really good thing. And we installed the BL touch in it with Volcano nozzle. And we also changed the fan duct for the fast cooling. We are using Satsuna fan duct with 5015 blower for the layer cooling and stock part cooling fan. So that's really good. So like we got a Volcano nozzle and a Satsuna fan deck for the fast cooling. But is this fast? Is it fast enough now? No, absolutely not because it's still running on Marlin. So for the fast printing to reach the max potential of Ender 3's hardware, we need to like install clipper in it. So in today's video, we're gonna install the clipper. In order to install the clipper, we're gonna need the Raspberry Pi. So let's begin. So I've installed the Raspberry Pi 0W in it on my Ender 3. And if you're upgrading with Raspberry Pi, so go with 0W instead of 0 because 0 doesn't come with a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in built in it. So you have to connect it externally, which is gonna be a lot more complex and hectic. So I would recommend go with 0W because it comes with a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in built in it. So, so I've connected this Raspberry Pi 0W through GPIO pin to my TFT pins of my SKI Wonder for turbo board and let me tell you one thing like I'm using the stock and the 3 display so it doesn't require the TFT port in order to work but if you're using big 3 text display or MKS display which do require the TFT port in order to function then this GPIO connection might not be feasible for you given that it requires the TFT pins in order to work so this Raspberry Pi 0W deriving the 5 volt power which it needs to work through those TFT port and transferring the signal into those TFT ports to make it work. So, so if you want to install the clipper on your 3D printer too using Raspberry Pi 0W, so I provide a link. The first link in the description is one of the most like most detailed tutorial, step by step process how you can install this thing on your machine is given. So go check out the link and watch that video. But make sure you watch that video after this video. Now the problem is, actually SK Wonder for Turbo have like four fan ports. From one, one fan port you can use for the blower system for cooling, layer line cooling because you can control the speed of it. And another three are like constant running 100% speed. Like you can't control those ports. So given that I burned one like the MOF set, I, I cooked the MOF set basically and it is not working now. So I have to like connect that thing to di directly to the another port which is continuous power supply so if the fan i will not be able to control the fan and it will be keep on running that it, that's really bad because given that you need because what happened is if your fan is continuously running and you're heating the hot end then what going to happen it's going to take a lot more time going to cause a lot of trouble while heating up the hot end and even after heating up the first few layers should be like in most cases the first few layers are printed with zero fan speed like fan is not working when you're printing to make it stick with the bed you don't run the fan but in my case it will keep on running so i have to find the solution so i found a temporary solution until i change the board by adding the switch on directly with the fan so Now I can turn on and off this fan easily. So I, I, that's a temporary solution until I change this board, which definitely I'm gonna change it because print quality will be not that good if I go with this method because I need to control the fan speed so that I can adjust the print quality the way I want it. So let's see. And given that I spend most of the day in my room only, so that would be not be concerned for a near future because I can just stand up, go to my table, click a button and fan on, click a button and fan off. So that will be super easy. Third upgrade will be the pretty normal, but it's required is the spool holder. Given that I upgraded my Ender 3 to direct drive system. Now what's happened is the previous spool holder, the stock spool holder, holds the spool but that spool come in between the 
build volume of Z axis. So I have to fix that. So that's why I 3D printed this pool roller, which is like a design of label online. I found it on Thingiverse. I'm gonna provide the SEO link in the description. So if you want to, you can check it out. It's for direct drive system. Now you can see this pool is holding behind a little bit and not coming into the build volume. That's a pretty good thing. And if you're wondering, the spool rod is kind of short given that it can only hold one spool. So that's a good thing, I would say. I know you're probably thinking that this video is kind of short given that I only upgraded a few things like I added the, in this video, I added the clipper, changed the spool holder and added the switch like only three upgradation what is it so i know but given that uh, my the first aim was to upgrade this under three at the lowest price and maximize the production quality like a uh, printing quality and a fast printing and make it wireless that's what really big thing because i didn't like the old method of taking out the sd card putting that sd card in a as you got reader and then put that thing into a USB port and then transfer a file, go back to a 3D printer, insert the SD card and then you click, click, click a few buttons and then, and then start printing. It was kind of complex and I'm kind of lazy person. So I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. So my first aim was to make it wireless given that I found Raspberry Pi 0W, which was kind of cheap. Given that if you compare to other Raspberry Pi 3 and 2 and 4, that Raspberry Pi used to be cheap. Now they're kind of expensive. So Raspberry Pi 0W is kind of cheaper side. In, in Raspberry Pi family but given that it's kind of underpowered it's only running on 5 volts so you cannot run a webcam if you want to because I didn't want to run a webcam anything to monitor the print because I hold them sitting in my room so that is why I thought it's okay so if you want to run a webcam so then go for Raspberry Pi 3 something because it's kind of underpowered to run a webcam so I would not recommend that so but it is kind of good to run a clipper a 32 bit clipper and to make it wireless so that I can directly control using my computer screen so yeah and then I added the spool holder and added the switch to solve my cooked MOF set problem so this was it I'm, I'm thinking about doing some cosmetic changes too in the 3d printer to make it look more elegant and more sexy so for that I will need the time so I will come up with the next part probably in few months so till then goodbye <laughs>